I'll uh, eat fans of me covers videos. If you are thirsting for more covers, you're in heaven. Looks like I am doing two covers videos back to back again. I won't get into why, because I imagine nobody cares about how I managed to overcomplicate a review. Let's just get straight to the covers that I think are good. In a recent video, there was an advert for Ron Spaceman, and it reminded me I have wanted to include this cover in a covers video for a while. This is issue 3 of Ron Spaceman, and it is a great piece showing Ron using his neutralizer to neutralize some very unneutral aliens. This is art by Ank Miller. It is a really great cover, and this might be a surprise to some, but this is actually Ank Miller's first entry into the Son of Nimrod cover artist chart. It's not a surprise to me. Even at his peak, I thought Ank Miller was a bit shambolic in places. But he could sometimes crack out a good overall image or a good cover like this. There is some resistance among my subscribers to covers that are a bit comedic or goofy. Which is a problem when it comes to David Allen's and his many Excalibur covers. I would say this one, issue 46, while it is intended as humorous, it does reflect the contents of the issue. This is a one about Morgan from Excalibur. An empath and a shapeshifter. Trying to find what is a real identity. Rather than what other people and her surroundings have made her into. So we have her in a bunch of different forms. All of which are forms that I think she has worn in previous issues of the series. And we even have a mean bondage queen Morgan on the cover. And there isn't anything funny about bondage, is there? You wouldn't laugh if she started whipping you with a riding crop, would you? Of course not. You would ask for more. And that is why I say it is not entirely a joke cover. Spectre, the second issue of his late 80s series. Although the focus of this cover is clearly on the sexy woman. Xanadu by Olivia Newton-John. Her incorporation into Spectre series is reflected well with this cover to issue 2. It lets people know she is part of the cast. And it lets people know she can be sexy when she doesn't have the tarot cards out. I really like this cover. I like how they have kept Spectre as a presence on it. But he doesn't in any way detract from Xanadu by Olivia Newton-John. I like the little cat because cats are cute and I obviously like the sexy woman. My favourite member of the Excellent Men that isn't January Jones is Cyclist Scott Summoners. Cyclist doesn't always get the cool looking covers and he doesn't get them anywhere near as often as Wolfman or any of the women. 
when a good cover was cyclist looking boss and badass when one comes along you have to savor it and this is a really tremendous one that is hidden away on a 99 cent series few people know of called Dr. X and the Excellent Men. This is issue 17. And Cyclist, he has blown a big hole through a centennial with his eye lasers. His proportions might look a bit off at first, but it's not the proportions. It's that his neck is too small for the body. A criticism like that would make this not a great cover. But it is minor enough. I am willing to call it a good cover. Very, very last minute switch out here. And these are usually the most controversial picks. Because I didn't have as much time to think things through. I thought play it safe with a cover that I have almost certainly masturbated to. This is for issue 359 by Simon Waltonson. The classic four gets raped and it is sexy issue. Amanda the Enchanter's slutty sister, Laura... She has ensnared Thor with a love potion that makes him a real soy boy beta cook. He is kneeling before his king, Tom Iddleston, who is also fucking Laura behind his back. Or as this issue shows, even in front of him sometimes. And Thor can it do much besides... Love, Laura. Amazing issue. My type of story. And I think anyone who isn't turned on by this, they are the weird one here. Would be good if I had a theme song for these, wouldn't it? I'm not going to record one. I can't be asked to finish any songs that I want to make. I'll never finish one that I didn't want to make. Which ones did you like? Which ones did you not like? Which ones did you eat? Which ones did you not eat? Tomorrow we have a theme, and that theme is going to be connecting covers, if I can be asked. I rate these ones seven thumbs up. Oh yeah, this is the 52nd covers video. And for a minute I thought, hey, I can do a theme where it is five good comic book covers from... The new 52. But then I remembered. I barely have even. Five good comic books. From the new 52. 